The President, Major General Mohamedou Buhari, retired on Tuesday and banked on a two-day state visit to Madrid, the capital city of Spain. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. Also, hit the like button. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. According to a statement by a special advisor on media and publicity, Femi Adishino, the president's visit is in response to an invitation by his Spanish counterpart, Pedro Chanez. While there, he would meet head of state of the Spanish nation, King Felipe VI, and discuss issues of mutual interest to both countries, which will expectedly result in the signing of agreement and memoranda of understanding on a wide range of areas, such as the extradition and transfer of convicted persons, mutual legal assistance, cultural matters, cooperation towards fighting crime, and enhancing security, as well as issues affecting dependence of diplomatic staff. I would like to mention that um, a day or two ago, the, the Spanish head, Felipe VI, sent his regards concerning the lives that were lost in Port Harcourt. And I was left wondering, like, it's not like it's a major disaster, that why is he paying attention to the country? So I see that this is why, because he already has interest in Nigeria. So he felt he to just pen that um, condolence message down just to be in good in good terms since they were already talking about signing memor uh, memoranda of understanding let's continue also on the agenda are cooperation on energy trade investment transportation public health and sports development Adishino had said. The president is expected back in the country on Friday, days before the presidential primary elections of the All Progressive Congress. With the trip, Buhari would have visited eight countries in the last five months. He had in May visited the United Arab Emirates, where he paid a condolence visit to the country over the loss of its immediate past leader, Shaheq Khalifa bin Yazahil El Nayam, Equatorial Guinea, where he attended the extraordinary summit of the African nation, and the Ivory Coast, where he attended the 15th session of the Conference of the Parties of the United Nations convention to combat desertification. Buhari also visited Brussels, Bel Bel Belgium in February when he joined other world leaders for the Cis European U Union African Union Summit. Nairobi, Kenya in March where he attended the 50th anniversary of the United Nations Environmental Programme, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in February, for the 35th ordinary session of the Assembly of the African Union, Heads of State and Government, and London, the United Kingdom in March, for a two-week medical checkup. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Gaba Shew, however, told our correspondent that there are many benefits inherent in all the trips. There are several takeaways from the President's visit to these countries, Shew had said. 
on Buhari's condolence visit to Abu Dhabi, he said, Nigeria has very strong economic and defense ties with the UAE. Flowing from these, they have helped us to curb illicit financial flows to the Boko Haram terrorist organization. We have ongoing a lot of military procurement, supplying our armed forces with seriously needed hardware. A few weeks ago, a brand new warship for the Nigerian Navy was commissioned in Dubai and set sail for Nigeria. The Nigerian Army just procured 100 mine resistant armored personnel carriers from the UAE. I am confident this visit will boost the friendship between Nigeria and the UAE. On the Brussels trip in February, on which he accompanied the president, she said the meeting in Belgium was a show off of friendship, camaraderie, and equality between the two continents, and with what we have seen from its outcomes, the EU African summit will be gaining gravitas. The presidential spokesman, who highlighted the gains from the just concluded AU summit in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea, the spokesman of the People's Democratic Party, Debo Ol- Ol- Ologun de Agba, could not be reached for comment as of the time of filing this report as it did not take the calls made to his telephone lines what do you think you all do you think that these visits are becoming too much that is a lot that our president is spending more time outside the country other than you know face affairs in the country let me know what you think in the comment section drop your comments below i'll be responding to all of them if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure you do subscribe Hit the like button most importantly click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post we still have more great news coming your way today please stay with us